plant issue sitting in my watermelon and my plant my You just you're squashing my, my flowers over there, dude. Come here. Come here. We just got a new puppy, so we're trying to get her acquainted to all our sounds and things like that. Uh, right now she's sitting where I've planted watermelon <laughs> and that's not where I want her to be. Here, over there, that little bugger. Turn around. There's no biting. No, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? This is Willow. She's a feisty little, feisty little thing. She doesn't want to say hi right now. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, bye. Yeah, so we, <laughs> we got her a couple days ago, and she is an American Eskimo, and she's actually, like, super cute. She's, so far, I haven't seen, like, any of her hair, really, anywhere in the house, so, um, yeah, she's, it's been great, it was, you know, time to add another fur baby to our our lives it just felt really really empty after you know losing your pet to cancer um, you know we've never been without a dog before so it was only a matter of time before we found one that we were you know like oh my gosh Ugh. so that's that um yeah but welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is amaris and this is the peterson homestead i have been gardening since Uh, like like small scale gardening since 2014 2015 um, when we lived in on base in California I had like a small little lot um, in my backyard that was off to off to our kitchen and we just dug up like this little this little plot and we just planted things there um, I don't think I grew anything from seeds um, it was mostly um, plants that had already been that were already grown that we got from like Lowe's or whatever store um, and then we moved here in 2016 and after I had my son Axel, we did this raised bed here, and we, um, this is the only raised bed that I have right now. And so my, I did, um, I had this, this bed was filled with things, like tons of things. I had, uh, cannels, I had carrots, I had tomatoes, um, I didn't have okra, 
I had a bunch of different things growing in here. Um, the bed was really full. I had strawberries. Uh, yeah, that was that was that was it. But now, um, you know, I've got a little bit more experience gardening and, and things like that under my belt. Can you see my eyes today? Um, so after we were living here in our house for about three years and then my husband got orders back to California and the house that we lived, we rented because we still had this house. Um, I had one, two, I have four raised beds there and that's when I started my YouTube channel. So um, yeah, I've only been doing YouTube for maybe since fall of 2020, I want to say. And so I've just decided, you know, let's just keep it going and see where, see where things go. Um, but right now, since it's, it's not too hot, it's not super humid out right now, I have things that I want to get into the no-till bed that I planted over there, back there, whatever, you see behind the tree. Go ahead, buddy. Um, and show you what's going on in the raised beds and the watermelon um, plants that I have after putting sea moss water in the ground um, and we'll see how those are those are doing okay let's take a look around everything and see how things have grown since two weeks ago when I did the the sea moss water on the plants um, everything looks a lot more greener I also did buy some fertilizer um, and I'm sure that helped as well but I'm super excited because everything is just growing sorry everything is just growing uh, the cucumbers are starting to trellis really well no. I all I have right now are just the male flowers. I haven't seen any female flowers yet, so it might be a couple more weeks for that. But what I've been doing is when I water, I try not to get the bottom leaves, so I cut like pretty much most of the bottom leaves off if you could see. Some of the leaves one are, bottle leaf right there. some of the bottom leaves are off. Um, and then there's some leaves, there's a vine that's like laid out on the ground. Um, so, what I did was I just took the rest of the red yarn so I don't have to come out. Like every time I see that the, the vines are kind of like, they just shot up out of nowhere and decided to just sprout. <laughs> um, I just decided oh, to mommy, fill up the rest of the... Yeah, it's fine. What is it? I, I don't know, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'll show the fertilizer that I bought that I really like. Um, I think I know what type of bug that is. And but it's very poisonous. No, it's not. It's fine. It's like a miniature dragonfly. Um, if you can see the okra here. Looks so good. Getting super tall. It's getting bigger. It's kind of dark right here on this side because it's morning time. And then, what I'm really excited about. It's the watermelon. No. Look at it. Okay. Butterfly, Axel. Oh, that's so pretty. What I'm really excited about right now are my pumpkins. I've planted more pumpkins. Let me lower you guys so you can see. All right, so I planted uh, sunflowers around my 
beds along with the flowers too. They're starting to grow as well. Everything looks good after I ditch fertilizing, but sunflower, I mean sunflowers, pumpkins. Look at them. They weren't this green when I started. When I first decided that I was going to plant pumpkins, they were like this color. Hold on. They were like this. You know, they they didn't they, they didn't do anything, you know? And so I'm leaving these because I'm like, okay, I fertilize them. Let me see what happens. And then I bought the fertilizer and I decided to plant more just to see what was going to happen. And look. Look at this. This is how they're supposed to be when you plant them. So obviously they were missing the nutrients that they needed. And I'm, I'm super excited because now I know that they're going to do fine. Um, and I mean, I might not have pumpkins in time for Halloween, but that is totally fine. I'm just excited to see them growing. And then if you can see the okra better from here. There you go. Um, the okra is doing really well. They have also gotten the bottom, their bottom leaves trimmed and you know after the, the fertilizer just came in and, and did some great things i know i probably should next growing season once all this bed is empty and it gets um winter time and things like that i'll put a cover a cover crop in here and then um i'll probably get a couple more bags of soil just to fill the bed all the way and then go through it and make sure that there aren't any grubs in there because there were grubs in here and why some of my let me turn you probably going to struggle to get back up so if you excuse me <laughs> um so i know that while um some of the the pumpkin plants and my tomato plants the tomatoes are struggling for a while Please i hold. i'm just i'm really happy right now with the way that the raised bed is growing and um, I know that I started growing later because I, I mean I didn't get back here until June um, and at that time everybody else was already their plants were probably like not at like this stage right now but like close so and I know right now um, a lot of people are starting to get their harvest that's fine I think I figured out why um like i think i've come to the the point in my <laughs> gestational um diabetes journey i've looked out I, is my sugar shouldn't be high right now i see it really shouldn't be high right now because what i had I had an open face sandwich. I had two fried eggs, um, two fried eggs, one slice of bread, um, and two pieces of turkey bacon, plus a slice of tomato on it. 
and then coffee. Coffee was probably the last thing that I, I drank. And I drank my water too, but my water doesn't have like any thing in it. So, but I've, I've realized that when I, like if I pay attention to, like when I have to poke my fingers, um, I know from the color of the blood, um, if it's gonna be high or not. So like for me, if I look at my finger and it's like bright, for me, I think it's gonna be high. And it was just 143 and it's supposed to be below 130. Um, and then if it's dark, when I prick my finger and just have to squeeze the blood out, I, it's to me it's low. And how I know that is because I've been, I mean, I've, I obviously have, have been checking for weeks and months now, and I've kind of, you know, just looking. Um, excuse me. <coughs> oh. But there wasn't any real extra, like, the one piece of bread, I have more protein in it than, than carbs, so, and I put the same amount of the sweetener that I did yesterday, so I'm not understand. maybe it's because I was, I don't know, yeah, I don't know, it shouldn't even be that high, but, whatever. Um, okay, rant over. I got three weeks, I mean, I'll be full term in three weeks, so it's almost, I'm almost done. <laughs> and then I can go back to eating and not worrying really about my sugar, as I so called it, my, my sugar blood. Um... But yeah, everything in the, the, this first bed looks really good. The tomatoes were struggling a little bit because um, the tops were getting eaten off. And they were like, like this little. And the tops were being eaten. Whoops. Whoops. My bad. Um, yeah, so... So they were, they were being eaten, and I was trying to understand why, and then I saw two, like, little brown worms on, you know, like, around, around them. I killed those. Um, so, yeah, that's it. The only thing I'm really battling, sort of, are aphids. And shortness of breath if you can't tell I am look at all look at all this growth though from the cucumbers you can see the leaves got bigger like there's there's like a lot of different things going on here and I love it so some of the leaves I came out here yesterday and I cut I did some trimming um, some of the leaves had like powdery, some of the leaves had powdery mildew and other leaves were like brown or they had like yellow spots in between. Um, probably from not either, from either being underwatered or not watered properly. So I didn't water the yard yesterday and the soil feels dry so I'm going to get so watering that, but I want to head over to the uh, the no-till bed and start planning out my things. And then I'll head over to my watermelon patch <laughs> and show you what I've got going on over there. Alright, so here is my no-till bed. Um, cut the grass around it yesterday. Can probably take some scissors and kind of trim it around it some more to make it look pretty. I just don't have time for that right now, so I don't really care. Um, 
I've already kind of put like tomatoes in here. They were these little bitty dinky red and yellowish oranges um, tomatoes that I that my husband bought and I guess we didn't eat them in time so you know we kind of tossed them at the compost pile um, so I went back to, I went to the compost pile because some of those didn't um, they hadn't been broken down yet so I just grabbed them popped them took the seeds and just planted planted them in this spot but now let me get this out of the shade you're gonna have to be careful with that so nobody trips and gets hurt okay hey pretty girl hey willow um but yeah okay let me show you the stuff that i use that i really i really love it i love um I love this this fertilizer that I bought. This is this is what I use. And what I did because I had already had the things planted and I thought that the soil that I bought, the black cow plus the just natural um, soil that soil the just natural soil had um, worm casting in it um, and I thought that that would be enough it wasn't so I should have gotten this first before I planted anything because then I think we'd probably be a, little, a lot farther along in our growing journey if I if I had so What I did was I just grabbed some with my hands and I kind of just sprinkled them, sprinkled this fertilizer around the plants, all of the plants, um, except for the plant in the front yard, the watermelon in the front yard. I haven't fertilized or anything like that and I should because we just recently saw two, well I think one didn't get pollinated, the other one did. So. Um, there was two watermelons on there so I have to go out there and now would probably be the good time to go and fertilize that um, but what I'm gonna do here is I got my handy dandy tools and extra seeds and stuff in here and I'm just going to sprinkle some of this fertilizer on top of it and kind of like since there's no seeds in in a spot where I'm getting ready to plant some things at I'm you know I'm gonna mix it up and then I'll get my water hose and then water everything and then what I have planned is for flowers to be kind of like in the corner so that they bring in like the beneficial bugs and you know I need to have I want to have things for the butterflies and the bees and and ladybugs and all the good beneficial um, bugs so that is my that is my goal you just plant a lot of things right so like I have to figure out exactly I want I want zucchini again because I've, had, I've actually since I grew so many back in California I really like them um, I like you know being able to saute them and and things like that and then I have green beans that I'm going to put in the front because I know I those are vining they're all vining ones and we can go from there um, and then I'll have to make sure that I there's my my <laughs> my little plan but I have Two different kinds of green beans that I want to plant. So there's this one. I don't know if you can see this one. There we go. There's this one. And then there's this one. 
So, I'm trying to decide if I want to do like one, like I kind of, um, That was loud, huh? <laughs> so I'm probably gonna do one, like plant one and then plant the other, like skip over like that and go from there and see how they, see how that does. If that doesn't work, then we won't do it next year, right? So, and then I still have plans for my herbs have a big I have a big spot over there where I can do herbs I'm just trying to decide exactly which bed I want to use if I want to use the whole big one for herbs or if I want to do the small one for herbs because I also have lettuce and collards and cabbage that are that I want to grow as well I have root vegetables like beets um, but I'm going to probably put those in the race in a, in a, you know, probably over there because it's deeper. So, but yeah, anyways, let's get this started. how that goes so I mix the um, I did I have to put the hat on <laughs> my camera is getting really hot so what I did was I just took the the shovel put it inside of the fertilizer and just sprinkled it in parts of it and then like kind of turned it a little and then I'm gonna go in and then and water it so see how that goes but I'm gonna give these some space and see how because I want them Oops, get back here I want them to have enough room to grow so we'll do about the length of the white part of the from here to here for each seed. And that should be good, right? Yep. I did plant zinnias. Um, I had like, I think I had like three or four seeds left. Um, and I planted like one in each corner. So there's zinnia here. There's a zinnia right here. And then a zinnia plant right here. And then I'm going to do one at the, the end of this bed. So, let's see. Okay, there's here and here. And then I'll go back a little bit. And then I'll plant one. Here. Alright, so 
those are the green beans. Four, four of each of the green beans. And we'll see how, how that goes. If I need to plant more, then I'll plant more. But I might be planting way too much. Who, who cares? Right? Who, who cares? The more, the more food, the, the better. <laughs> All right. So that's green beans right there. Let's see. What else? Um. No cucumbers. Got okra. Oh, I have black eyed peas. I grew these black eyed peas. I didn't get very much, but we really like black eyed peas. Should I plant black eyed peas? Yes. Do it, huh? Should I do it in the back? Or in the front. Decisions. Decisions, decisions. I got radish and beets. These these grow super quick. Don't need watermelon. These are fall. I'm not gonna do these right now. I got those. Sheet. Flares. I don't know if there's any to go. I gotta find it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. My nasturtiums. I love planting these around. Um, just because you know they're pretty you can eat them and so I have some that I harvested too this is from my own little collection <laughs> so I'll probably plant those in the back yeah, I'll do those ones in the back. These are, this is the type of nasturtiums that they are. Pretty color. They, nasturtiums come in a wide, they're, they're all sorts of different colors. But, tomatoes, no. Honeydews? No. I'm just looking for the squash. So I'm gonna get those. And bell peppers. Let's see, how many days? 75 days. Seventy-five days. are frost sensitive. I have more than 75 days, I believe. Our first frost date is November 11th, I believe. The hat just didn't want to stay on. The wind's starting to pick up. These grow really fast. So that's that. What else? Pumpkin. Where did their
bell pepper. We'll see. So, because I always have a hard time growing bell pepper. Okay. Excuse me. All right, that's it for now. Dirty. Um, I'm gonna water my plants, water the the yard, and then I'm done. I'm going inside. Uh, we're gonna try and see how those bell peppers do. I gotta make this quick because my camera's dying. Uh, we'll see how the bell peppers do. I planted four of. The, what are these things called? <laughs> the winter squash. Um, the butternut squash. These ones in the very back because I can trellis these as well. The planted two. Um, two nasturtium seeds. One at the corner, opposite side. Um, in the back, there are back corners of the no-till. There are a couple of um, marigolds that I planted. I did black eyed peas, green beans. Uh, there's, I don't think the tomatoes are going to grow, to be honest. They haven't sprouted or anything yet. So, And tomatoes pop up <laughs> kind of quickly. Anyways, but, yep, we did that, sprinkled the, the fertilizer, and now I just have to water it and keep watering it and paying attention to it every day. So, that's it. I'm going to show you the what's going on over here in this bed. Um, that's closer to the house for those the kids spit their watermelon seeds out and then we're done. <laughs> I will let you go. <laughs> I realized that I was talking and it wasn't recording. <laughs> Everything I just said, you didn't get any of it. Um, okay. The sunflowers are doing great. I don't know how much, how much you saw, but the sunflowers, sunflowers, the watermelons are doing great. Some of them, one portion of it I have to trim off because my kid decided to run it over with his monster truck, so I have to take care of that. <coughs> um, I do have sunflowers and zinnias planted in here. You can see behind me. Let me get this set up real quick. Um, Okay, back here, if I could stop rubbing my face, back here are the sunflowers, watermelon, and some zinnias. Um, I planted sunflowers in here so I can get some bees, butter, you know, butterflies, and the zinnias as well, you know, I want to have 
just a good pollinating bug here. But so far, let's see. See, they're doing really well. Let's see if you can see. Hold on. There we go. They look a little green. They look greener. They're stretching out. I have more popping up. Um, more seeds that I didn't know that were spit in here. <laughs> but yeah, I think the um, a mosquito or something. Ew, gross. Uh, okay, get it together, camera. Get it together. The um, <laughs> I'm struggling right now. Um, the the sea moss did good. It didn't kill any of the plants, so it did good. My indoor plant, the cactus, is doing amazing as well. Um, I gotta get some more soil. I gotta get some soil to actually put it in a bigger pot so it can continue to grow. But other than that, that is it for now. Thank you for sticking with me through this long video, and. I am going to go water my seeds and everything that I just planted and we'll come back and maybe sometime next week and we'll go from there and we'll see how things, if anything grew over there, I'm pretty sure that everything will sprout within a couple days and I just got to keep an eye on it and keep it watered. I can't, I don't want to let the soil dry out. Um, and then we'll get some type of trellis for them because I know with the pumpkins I'm going to need them as well but that is it and thank you for hanging out with me for this long video um, I hope you have a wonderful day We'll see you in the next video.